This video is on viscosity and turbulence. Um, I'm following Young and Friedman's University Physics, and this is the last section of Chapter 14, which is on fluid mechanics. The asterisk means it's an optional section, but it's really not that hard to understand, and won't take that long, I don't think, to go through. So, viscosity. What is viscosity? Viscosity is the internal friction uh, of a fluid. You know, so how does you know how is it that when you're rowing, you know that you face so much resistance, you know, as you as you paddle? Well, that's the viscosity uh, of the water, and of course, it allows you to propel the canoe or whatever forward. So, it's it it you know burdens your muscles, uh, but it's useful. Um, and we often talk of viscosity when we're talking about oil in a car. Uh, or uh, maybe transmission fluid, that sort of thing. These are fluids that, you know, oil is thicker, as it were, uh, than, than water, um, so to speak. It has a higher viscosity. Uh, viscosity is strongly dependent on temperature. So, uh, interestingly enough, as the temperature of a gas goes up, uh, the viscosity increases. Uh, but, uh, as the temperature goes up in, of a liquid, its viscosity decreases. Who knew? Um, now, um, this the temperature facet. You know, you buy five W thirty or ten W forty. You know, these the the temperature part thirty or forty um, again has to do with the fact that viscosity changes with temperature. And usually, if you have a certain kind of car, then it prefers you to put a certain kind of oil into it, and that oil rating has to do with the viscosity uh, of the oil. Um, viscous fluids cling to solid surfaces in contact uh, with them. So they kind of, uh, instead of a, a flow tube that's nice and smooth with all the lines laminar, um, when, when you have a, a more viscous uh, kind of tube, um, the, the fluids uh, hold more to the sides of the tube, like to a pipe or whatever. And so you have more like a bullet uh, where the center lines of force you know, are farther ahead than the lines that are getting pulled on the, you know, on the side of the of the pipe or, or whatever. Um, uh, toothpaste is very viscous, you know, and so it takes some strength to get the the tube to, the the toothpaste to flow uh, because it's it's a has a higher viscosity uh, than say water or something like that. Um, they don't go into a lot of math in this this section. Uh, to save that for a you know upper level physics course. Um, or that deals more with, with fluids, uh, but um, they do tell that in a cylinder, pressure is proportional uh, to the length of the cylinder divided by the, the uh, radius of the cylinder to the fourth power. Um, what this tells us is, is that as the radius of a cylinder uh, decreases, it's going to take a whole lot more pressure uh, to get that same fluid through it. Um, this is uh, one of the reasons why when you have clogged arteries, even just a little bit of, of cloggedness, even just a little bit of plaque you know, in your arteries is going to significantly increase the amount of pressure it takes to get the blood to flow because of that R to the fourth power. Um, and so, um, again, they don't give precise equations. Uh, save that for another course. Uh, but the pressure is going to go up proportional to the length divided by uh, the radius to the fourth power. So that's viscosity. Uh, this short section also talks a little bit about turbulence. Of course, we know turbulence. If we fly on a plane, we learn to hate turbulence. I absolutely hate turbulence on a plane. Uh, basically, turbulence has to do with when a speed, when the speed of a fluid gets beyond a certain critical value. Again, uh, because this is an asterisked section, you know, save it for another course to talk about what that critical value is. But turbulence, when the speed of a fluid gets beyond that critical value, turbulence is an irregular chaotic flow, not a laminar uh, flow, um, uh, but a kind of chaotic flow. The greater the viscosity, the greater the tendency is toward uh, laminar flow. Um, and so it's easier to get turbulence with air, say, um, than it is to get it with oil. Uh, but um, the the idea of turbulence is how you do curved balls in baseball, or how you do uh, curves with tennis. You know, with a, with a certain serve, you know, you can hit it really hard. But because the the velocity on top of the ball, you know, because it's spinning, you know, the velocity on top of the ball 
you know, is faster than the velocity under the ball, um, it, it provides, uh, well, with, with, um, with tennis balls, it makes it go down. So you can, you can hit it harder and it still get in uh, because of the spinning um, uh, dynamic. Um, with golf ball, uh, sometimes a golf ball will actually seem to, to go up, and that's because uh, the, the, you know, the club is curved in a way that it puts a backspin on it, you know, so that the bottom is going faster than the top, and so the, the golf ball actually does rise um, as the air uh, turbulence uh, hits it. So um, turbulence can be a good thing in sports. Again, not so pleasurable when you're on a plane.